last time we have seen how to use this combo box with this text box and these button for adding and deleting some strings into this combo box in this video I will show you how to populate your combo box with data from database so for example I have this uh, mysql data yes here and I want to populate the name field into my combo box so all the names should appear into the combo box so how can I do that I will show you so I will go to my program I will delete this uh, text box because I don't need it now and just this combo box so what I will do is I will go to my source code panel and I will go to the bottom of the program and just when where my last function is ending I will give a space there and I want to create a new function which is user defined function which is made by me for uh, populating my combo box so I will make a function which is called private colon void fill combo void and bracket and bracket closed and in this I will write a method to fill the combo box okay now what I will do is I will go to my design and I will double click this save button and in here I have shown you how to save data with the help of uh, your button click event so I will just copy this code once again in order to save the time if you don't know how this code is written you can see my previous videos and there I have shown how to write this save data code so I will copy the whole code from this string to the end of this catch block so copy and I will paste in my new function which is combo fill function so whole data is pasted here I will delete this uh, message box because this is not required in this code and in here instead of passing this insert query which we have seen in the save data code I will just delete all the queries till this semicolon I will leave this semicolon so I just have double quote semicolon and double quote and here I will write my query select star from my database name which is database dot my table name which is data my data name base name I will show you this is my database name and this is the table name in which my data is present so that's why I have written database dot e data here okay 
and go down and now we will write some code into our while loop so first of all I will declare a string and then this cap sign and then I will name my variable as uh, v name and bracket closed and then in the next line what I will do is I will copy this uh, my reader variable name which is mysql data reader variable name paste it here and I will provide an arrow pointer and I will write get get string and bracket and bracket closed and in this bracket I will write the column which I want to show so right now I in my database I want to show this name column into my combo box so this is the column name which is name so I will write here name the name of my column in the database and then in the next line I will go to design panel and I will just select this combo box and copy its name which is combo box 1 go to the code once again and in the next line here I will paste the combo box name and then the arrow pointer items then arrow pointer once again add bracket and bracket closed and I forgot to assign this variable so I will copy this string variable paste it here and give equal to sign here so what it will do is it will execute this select query and it will take all the values of name column and place it into this variable so because it's in a while loop it will take name one by name one by one and populate your combo box so just copy this variable name once again and paste it in between this add bracket so this is this three line code I think it should work so let's try and run the program no it's not running so let's see what is the problem okay so the problem is here where I have deleted my text boxes and add button and display delete button from here but I haven't deleted the code for that so just I will just delete that code and then try to run the program so let's try and run the program yes and I will write my username and password it's correct and then here my combo box should fail but it's not having any values why because we made our function but we haven't called it anywhere so I will copy my function from here and I will go at the top 
and just go to the point where this code is written form 2 which is my form name void and where these initialize component function is called this is a function which initializes all the default functions so I will just paste my fill comp function here so whenever my program starts or initializes it will initialize my combo box function also so it this combo box function will fill the values in my combo box so let's try and run the program once again and once again username and password okay and now it should fill yes John, John, Jack, Neer, Mark, Max, and let's see all the value matches. Yes, John, John, Jack, Mark, Max. So all this column is here. So let's try. See, you can see here and here the values are same so in this way you can fill your combo box in the next video i will show you how to fill these these text boxes on the basis of selected name so for example when you select the name john corresponding to the name John all the values of John from the database should appear in these text boxes so that I will show you in the next video so please stay tuned and please wait comment and subscribe and bye for now